today we're going to learn some vocabulary with George Orwell, the renowned author whose masterpiece, 1984, I personally believe, should be read by every single student. Let's do this. I believe a quite terrifying masterpiece. So terrifying, in fact, I don't think I should like to read another like it. I'm not absolutely dissatisfied with it. I think it's a good idea, but the execution would have been better if I had not been under the influence of TB when I wrote it. I love the fact that he responds to this question through self-reflection by critiquing his own masterpiece. Execution of an idea is the way that the idea is expressed or carried out, but also the word execution has another meaning, and this is when, unfortunately, a person is killed at the hand of the government, usually for something that the government perceives to be wrong. You once claimed that you have an ability to face unpleasant facts. Is that what you demonstrated in 1984 by drawing an accurate portrait of the future? I think that allowing for the book being, after all, a parody... Parody. Parody is an imitation of something, usually a work of art, by taking certain aspects of that work of art and exaggerating them usually using humor and comical elements, but not necessarily. You could use this word as a noun or a verb. Let's go back and hear this word. ...in 1984 by drawing an accurate portrait of the future. I think that allowing for the book being, after all, a parody, something like 1984 could actually happen. This is the direction the world is going in at the present time. This is the direction that the world is going towards, and it is a very bleak picture, a grim picture. In our world, there will be no emotions except fear, rage, triumph, and self-abasement. Self-abasement occurs when an individual, usually with poor self-esteem, humiliates oneself. Abase is the verb. Self-abasement is that noun that he's using here. So he says that people will start to hate themselves and they will abase themselves. They will humiliate and belittle themselves. Let's hear that word again. In our world, there will be no emotions except fear, rage, triumph, and self-abasement. The sex instinct will be eradicated. We shall abolish the orgasm. We shall abolish the orgasm. Abolish is to officially put an end to something, usually through legislation, by passing laws. Abolish. Abolish. There will be no loyalty except loyalty to the party. But always there will be the intoxication of power. Intoxication, you might be familiar with the verb intoxicate and the adjective intoxicated. When someone is intoxicated, they may have consumed, for instance, alcohol and they can't think straight. When someone is intoxicated with power, they are so consumed with power that they tend to violate other people's rights. Intoxication of power. But there will be no loyalty except loyalty to the party. But always there will be the intoxication of power. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy. To trample on someone is to forcefully step on someone, but he's using this metaphorically, uh, trampling on, violating someone's right. Here he's talking about the power that is concentrated in the hands of an individual or a group of individuals that are repressive and authoritarian. Let's hear that expression again. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. The moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a... The moral to be drawn, the lesson to be learned here. This is a great phrase to learn if you want to level up your English vocabulary. The moral, this is the message, the message that we could glean, that we could understand from this master. Simple one. Let's hear that again. The moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. And I'm going to end the lesson with...